All right, fam. So here's the finished product. We got broccoli greens with smoked turkey. We got buttermilk, boneless chicken thighs. What's up, fam? Wow. 2023 has been great and not so great at the same time when it comes to growing and raising our own food all right so it's been a topsy-turvy year because we had a crazy winter in 2022 that pretty much knocked a lot of our stuff back and made it start from the beginning then i mean we got crazy hot during the summer we didn't get as much rain so things kind of slowed down a little bit and didn't do as well. But saying that, for whatever reason, my banana plants did amazing. It did amazing. And now we're closing out 2023 with our pretty much our last harvest, our last growing of the year. All right. So as you can see, we do have our broccoli. We have uh, greens, we have a cabbage, and we do have some corn growing back there. All right, um, pretty much that's all we got going on right at the moment. Now we do have some starts in the house that we are gonna put out. Not sure if we're gonna put them out now or put them out towards the end of uh, the winter, probably about February, and get them started. You know. Being in the South, bugs are a major consideration when when dealing with what we're growing. So we got to grow something that we can actually keep the bugs in check. All right. So I love this time of year when it comes to growing only because the bugs are not quite as ferocious. You can work with them and try to keep them at bay. So I'm out here in our Brastica garden today picking some these are broccoli leaves all right so it is sunday so we going to incorporate our broccoli leaves into our dinner for the day and i'm excited you know broccoli leaves how many y'all know about broccoli leaves probably not a lot of you because if you don't grow them you can't eat them they don't sell these in the store but they're really tasty, all right? They pretty much got the consistency of collard greens, except they are less bitter and they have a taste of the broccoli floret, the flower, all right? So you got a, a taste of the broccoli, less bitter and just as tender as greens. So we're gonna cook them just like we cook greens. And you know, uh, they do have a, a tiny bit of bitterness to them, but, you know, you fix that with a tiny bit of sugar, you know, no problem. But that's one of the benefits to being able to grow your own food. The things you can eat that you would never in your life be able to because they don't sell them. There are so many different varieties of broccoli, so many different varieties of greens, so many different varieties of cabbage. But you would never be able to taste all these different vegetables delicious vegetables because they don't sell them in the store you ask why they don't sell them because they don't ship well or they don't last long enough for them to be able to put them in a truck store them in the back of a store put them out on the shelf and then still be good for you to take home and be able to enjoy it so to have the best variety of fruits and vegetables you have to get out there and grow your own and that comes with like hundreds of varieties of tomatoes uh all kind of okra you know everything everything that you grow you can grow there are many different varieties of those same vegetables now a lot of the ones that you grow in the, you get in the grocery stores are somewhat hybrid and they are made to be able to last longer on the shelf they're not made for nutritional value they're not made to taste better they made to be able to last longer on the shelf. So when you say you don't like something, if you've never grown it or you haven't eaten it fresh 
from somebody's garden, you don't know if you actually like that. So I was amazed today, you know, when I was going through, everything has grown up really, really nice. You know, I'm gonna show y'all exactly what it looked like just, you know, a month or two ago when I actually put them in the ground. Collards, broccoli, corn, all that good stuff. Um, they're doing good. And you can see what they look like now. You know, they, they are beautiful. They are grown really well. So a lot of people ask us, how? How do I grow my own garden? How can I get started? Guys, I say my advice to you, if you've never grown, start with one thing. Give it all the love that it needs to flourish and then go from there. All right. So, you know, you find a good spot that's going to be vital. You're going to have to make sure your soil is to the point where it can actually uh, support good growth in your garden. That's vital. You got to be able to give it the right uh, food and the right water for it to sustain and grow big and healthy you know so it it's something that if you if you want to do i wouldn't just go all in at once of course some of y'all will and it may work for some people but i say perfect one crop at a time and once you get them all perfected you know exactly what each one of them need to grow and flourish then you just put them all together and you have it you know different places require different things you know we found during our travels during the um during the summer that it's places where bugs are not a big deal like it's crazy like you could actually be outside some things will be flying around but nothing won't bite you <laughs> you know they don't have to make sure that their crop is 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 doing well you know and not being killed by the bugs but then you come here or other places down south and the bugs will literally eat your plants overnight <laughs> so you have to stay on them so don't think when you grow your own garden that you're going to be able to just put some stuff in the ground and not pay attention and then come get all your food. No. You're going to have to cultivate it. You're going to have to love it. You're going to have to take care of it. See it through, you know, the worst times. So when the time comes, you get to eat. And it is a rewarding feeling to know that something that you put all your time and effort into has given you uh, some amazing food for you and your family. Right. So, some of so going through the garden, you know, um, getting some leaves for us to eat for dinner. And I'm also going to probably put some up in the freezer. I noticed that our broccoli has started flowering. So we have some florets. So I called the wife out and I told her and she was really, really happy to hear that we are starting to get heads on our broccoli. Now, my wife loves some broccoli. And as y'all can see, I made sure she was going to have plenty of them. So we're going to go ahead and um, grow as much of it as we can. We're going to eat and we're going to freeze and store so we can have some during the summer. Now, as much as she eat this, I don't know how long they're going to last. But that is some broccoli that we will not have to go purchase from no place else. And guys, when I tell you there is nothing better than homegrown broccoli i think it comes with sugar in it it's sweet it's tender and when you buy and you grow it 
you can eat the whole stock. The whole stock is tender. You know how sometimes you get that stock and it's kind of tough and woody? Yeah, that's that variety. Why? That variety ships better and it sits in the store longer. So it's a good variety. This variety, I can eat the whole stock. And it's just as tender as the top part of it. So it is amazing, guys. So hey, our greens, our cabbages, they all looking beautiful. Our corn has got a little bit of damage from the cold that we just had a couple of days ago. They are starting to produce heads, but I'm feeling some kind of way about, you know, whether or not we're going to get those heads to produce. I want them bad, guys. This is a new variety. I never heard of them. I never seen nobody else grow them, but somebody sent us some seeds for them and I want to grow them. I tried to grow them this winter and it was a no-go. You know, our summer just wasn't having it. The bugs definitely weren't having it. So we decided we was gonna plant them out this fall and see what we can do. We having a little bit of issues with the bugs. We always do. But, you know, um, it had been bad. And they are producing heads now. And it looked like each stalk is producing two ears of corn, which is amazing because they're not very tall. You know, I made sure they was watered and fed correctly so we can get the best growth that we can get. I'm monitoring them so the bugs don't destroy them. But, you know, Mother Nature rules. And if, they don't do what they need to do before Mother Nature set in, then, you know, that's just going to be it, you know, and hey, we'll try again. We'll try again because I definitely want to taste a corn with the name of candy corn. I want to taste, I want to eat that. You know what I mean? That's got to be amazing. And the kernels are red. So, I mean, Come on now, guys. Like I was saying about growing your own vegetables, like it's so much you would never get the opportunity to try unless you grow them yourself in your yard. Because, you know, I can't take these to someplace to sell because they probably are well before I get there. Because this variety is not made to be sitting on the shelf or sitting by while somebody decides whether or not they want to buy them. It's made for you to go and harvest them and take them in the house, cook them up, and eat them. You know what I mean? Or just take them in the house and eat them. I'm not much of a raw vegetable eater. But we're going to go in the house, and we're going to go and get these done. All right, fam. So this is the harvest for today. Um, it's not all that I could have got, but it's just all I took. All right, guys. So this is some of the vegetation that I took off of my plants today. They was the least desirable looking leaves, some of the, the first produced leaves, and I went and took them all. You know, um, my chickens and rabbits will absolutely love, have the opportunity to enjoy these. So I'm going to go ahead and take these over there to them. And let's share some of this bounty with the rabbits. I'm sure they will absolutely love having some of this fresh vegetation so as you can see Lala is not wasting any time we're gobbling up those broccoli leaves alright girl I'm going to put some of these up top so the babies don't get them you're going to have to reach up there and get them babies to eat the greenery but I feel like she gonna pull it down there anyway so hopefully here come my boy Tux what's up buddy I'm gonna give you some some leaves here That is delicious. Alright big boy, you want some of this? You 
can give you a lot, but you ain't got no babies in there. There you go. We have given uh, chickens and rabbits their share. We give to them, they give to us. And now it's time to go cook. All right, guys, so we got smoked meat, uh, smoked turkey. I prefer smoked neck bones, but smoked turkey is what we have, and that will work. So we'll go ahead and put our beans in there. Let's get All right, guys, you done. All right, fam. So here's the finished product. We got broccoli greens with smoked turkey. Got buttermilk, boneless chicken thighs, and some of my wife' delicious cornbread stuffing with smoked turkey sitting on a bed of rice. So let's see what it tastes like. Mm. It's crazy because you almost taste the flavor as soon as you put it in your mouth. Guys, to me, that tops greens. With the flavor, the tenderness. Mm. Wow. Give me more. And guys, what I did is I went in and hit it with a little bit of sugar when I cooked it. So they are sweet. <laughs> so I probably need to use less sugar, but that's only for my wife, not for me. I can eat it just. I'm probably going to eat this whole pot. Well, that'll be nice. Mm. You can freeze dry some, babe. No, because I'm going to eat it all. <laughs> <laughs>